A very warm welcome from the Shadow Display team. We are in Iceland. And uh, it's, uh, it's midday, <laughs> but it's November, so the sun doesn't get very high. It does make for a dramatic landscape. And um, I'm going with live weather at the moment. Um, there is a lot of snow around. Last night I was flying in July I got rid of the snow and the landscape was phenomenal. So whether I stay like this, we'll see. But it, it's it's quite atmospheric as it is right now. Um, quite nice. So we're back at Warbirds. As you may have seen, uh, there's a very exciting release, we think on Tuesday, which is the Just Flight Vulcan. In which case we might be back in the UK and, uh, and, and in the Vulcan just to check out what's going on on Tuesday. Uh, so, um, we want to, um, we're going to have a, a look at what uh, the latest world update, the Nordic update has done and it was, it was fabulous Shady wasn't it? We were flying through it last night. Yeah, really nice. Really nice, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so I'm back in the, um, I forgot the name of it, Flight Replicas Spitfire, the one that came out not long ago. Very pleased with it, I do like it. And um, let's see what else we've got. Shady, is your drone working, mate? Yeah, but it keeps flipping my plane up upside down. Oh yeah, it does. <laughs> that, that, that's why um, that's why Energizer usually comes in and... Uh, um, a plushie. <laughs> it hides it round the back of somewhere. <laughs> yeah, yeah I've, I've thrown it in the bushes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's quite funny to watch, but... Uh, um, uh, right. Um, I'm just trying to see what's going on. So who have we got in voice? We've got Andrew in voice. Hello, Andrew. Hey, dude. Good. So which Spitfire have you chosen to fly today? Uh, same one you're in. Oh, brilliant. <laughs> I do like it. I do like it. Um, we've also, um, uh, Shady, we've said hello to. Uh, sadly, Energizer's not feeling great. So um, Shady stepped up to the plate to be a drone cam. And we have uh, uh, Gaudin. Good evening, Tom. Good evening. And we also have FD. Hello, FD. Hello. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Forgot to unmute my... <laughs> oh, the first of many technical issues, I'm sure. <laughs> let's, let's see who we've got in chat. Celestial Navigator, good evening. We've also got Richard Hollander. Hello. And uh, Goblin Zeus, good evening there. Spitfire, RAF. I wonder if you're flying a Spitfire, and I wonder which one you've chosen. We've got Johnny F. Oh, I haven't seen you for ages, Johnny. Welcome. Um, although, Celestial Navigator has just written Mil Viz FG 1D Corsair. Um, so maybe that's what he's maybe that's what he's flying. Right. Um, so I'm gonna let's let's try and see what happens if we go to Shady Cam. Looking good. What weather have you got there, Shady? Uh, not live weather. Okay, I'll do the same. Uh, November midday. Okay. Um. So was that? Did you just click not live weather? Did it? Is it? Is it clear skies? Uh, yeah, it is at the moment. Spitfire RAF. I have the flying iron one. Uh, need to get this one. Oh, I think you'll enjoy this one. Um, just recovering from replacing my PC motherboard. So money is a bit tight at the moment. Oh dear. Um, but uh, yeah, when you get it, I think you'll enjoy flying it. Um, Ebon Rookie, good evening. Okay. Oh, 
Oh, and I can see uh, uh, Lucy texting up. Hello, Lucy. Uh, so you might want to make sure you're full of fuel before we take off. Because otherwise you might run out of fuel. Ask me how I know. <laughs> uh, Celestial Navigator, the Flying Irons Black Friday sale is on right now. And yes, the 109 is included. Ooh. And on stream there, it's HCBR doing a nice display in the Eagle S100. That's a great fun plane, that is. Beautifully flown, as always. Amazing that H can do all those powerful displays and the F14 and, the, and then the 15 and then comes to a, a little Puddle jumper like that and does amazing work. Okay. Right. So, uh, oh, and to our um, American friends, happy Thanksgiving. Um, Andrew, is that a Canadian thing as well? Uh, not today. Uh, Canadian Thanksgiving was a month ago. Oh, okay. <laughs> Happy Thanksgiving for a month ago. Dr. Notham, good evening. Uh, we've got Druid Zeus and uh, Flying Teapot. Just about to uh, roll out.
<laughs> Tom says, that's a loud cat. <laughs> Sounds a bit like throttling back in the area. Yeah, it is a loud cat. It's a very bossy tabby. Um, the older she gets, the crankier she gets. Um, quite willful, very willful. This is an interesting part of the landscape. Uh, Iceland's been in the news recently because of the volcanic activity, which is nowhere near here, but could this be part of uh, some volcanic activity a long time ago? Fascinating. in the greater Spitfire Mark 9 I think so I think one more orbit and uh, we'll carry on around the lake Definitely looks like a, a volcanic pimple. Yeah. <laughs> Dimple. <laughs> Is that a geological term? <laughs> it's something though, isn't it? It's all, all dark and grey and ashy. It's another geological term. Ashy. <laughs> flying this route, uh, Shady and me, last night, and um, I, I couldn't see his name tag. It really makes group flying quite tricky. <laughs> I can't. Something occurred to me, I wonder if he's got switched off in the options it had. So that's nice and fixed now. I wonder why my Microsoft decides to randomly change options from yeah. time to time. Why does it do that? Yeah, it's the only game I have that does that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so we've got uh, um, a Typhoon, I'm guessing that's H, and a Plushy 14, I'm guessing that's FD. Hello. Hello, we've got Electron Vote uh, in the uh, Corsair, Lucy in the Spit, Andrew in the Spit, Mark 1, and Flying Teapot in an RK9. Yeah, we've got a pop of invisible planes as well. you got some invisible planes? Still, is, it? Uh, is that what H is flying on your left? H is flying the, the, the jet, the Typhoon. Yeah, it's invisible for me. Oh, is that because you've set up um, M3? Uh, I've got that running. You have? Yeah. It should have, I think, pretty much all the jets are set as F-18s or Orca Hunters. Yeah, I wonder what happens, though, if there's a jet that you've not got on the list. Don't know how it works. Maybe do I. <laughs> Nobody knows. Dennis. Foon got amazing stealth capabilities. Oh, that's what it is. <laughs> uh, Energizer. Good evening. Yeah, so, sometimes liveries could still mess up M3 too, so. Ah, oh, right. Oh, right, it's a, a king on. Yeah, it might be a labor. Cloaked vessel. King on. Energizer. Has Steve broken a prop yet? Nope. Not yet. Only just taken off. 
Oh, I've taken a wrong turn in there. Don't follow me. It's this way. Oh, it's a nice little gully down there we can, we can go to. It's Dennis in the R100. Um, yeah, if you've got we love VFR, there are a few pylons down here, so be a bit careful. Jump out in front of me. And now I've got flying, yes, flying teapot we've done, haven't we? Um, Druid Zeus is on his way in the spit. Goes Lucy. Did anybody see um find the pylons? Um my bandwidth is too low for data streaming. You have been switched to offline mode. <laughs> Thank you, Microsoft. Love you too. Um, Into the Blue released a YouTube where he was flying the Just Fly Falcon. Did anyone see that? I have seen some snippets of it, not not the whole thing yet. Oh, I watched it. Um, how is it? It looks wonderful. Um, I said how? We don't know. Um, he, he didn't actually do a, a sort of fly pass thing because he's got an initial copy and they were still working on that sound. Um, uh, apparently in real life, you know, the couple that are still flying, they actually have a detente on the throttle to get the proper setting for the noise. Oh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, Celestial Navigator says Vulcan. The Vulcan is awesome, fluid as a dev. Ooh. Um, it looks an absolute delight. Uh, there were two things that worried me. Um, one is you know, what does it feel like to fly? What's its flight model like? Um, and the other is, what's the visibility going to be like from the cockpit? Because um, it might not be that much fun if you can't look out the window. Actually, the visibility looked really good from the video. Um, and um, I'm not quite sure what Into the Blue's uh, background is, but he sounds like a pilot, like a real life pilot. I think he is. Um, um, and, and he seemed to be having a great time with the flight model. He was really enjoying hand flying it. Um, on that basis, oh, it does look good. It does look very good. Yeah, I was about to say that, in my opinion, the BAE 146 and the F-28, which are the older just flight big planes, yeah. they are amongst my favorite in terms of flight models. Oh, really? 
Yes. Oh, that does bode well, doesn't it? Um, oh, brilliant. Um, the sounds that were on the YouTube sounded just amazing. Um, cockpit was fabulous. Uh, flyby to TV. First time in chat. Welcome. We're in Iceland. And, um, yeah, no, I think that looks wonderful. Um, just discovered you guys. <laughs> okay. Run now. Yes, I was, I was trying to work Run out how away. to say something like that, yeah. <laughs> Run while you still Yeah, we have, uh, we have a uh, release party this evening on... Uh, on Fort or Learn to Fly for another Cox Purple hit. Ooh, uh, stand by. Touch and go, guys. Touch and go. Oh, Lucy's already on it. Um, okay, sorry for the interruption, Andrew. Uh, so what's the release party for? Uh, Seb at uh, Coxper is releasing a new plane today. Oh. Um, or would... at the very least, we're showing it off tonight. Are you allowed to say what it is before the stream or not? I'm not 100% sure. He's, he's, asked, he's asked us <laughs> not to talk about it, so other than to say, hey, we've got a new plane coming. Brilliant. Okay, and that is your, that is Vorderlands to fly. Um, and what, um, what, when, when does that begin? It's, 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 it's on when we finish, isn't it? 6 p.m. my time, so uh, 6, 4, 10, 2200 Zulu. Oh yeah, perfect. Yeah, yeah. Right. Oh, we'll look forward to finding out what that is and, and what it's like. It, it's been it's been hard to play with because oh. every time I get a chance to go sit down with it, he's put out a new version. Oh. <laughs> I, 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 I counted it up for Howard on Tuesday. Uh, Seb put out eight new variations, eight updates. Is it going to be between another? between be Friday between Friday and Tuesday? Like the 414 was. 414 oh, it's, was updated it's, every two minutes. <laughs> yeah, it, it seemed like every time it's like, oh, there's a new one. Okay, download it. All right, let's go install it. Three, two, one. Oh, there's a new update. Energizer says if the article is anything to go by, we should have the Tomcat in two weeks. And this is part of the reason that we're in Iceland doing warboats. Because I, I do want to go back to the UK and see a few more of those. Orbix, uh, Great Britain South um, uh, POIs. But if we're flying the Vulcan, we'll be doing that in the UK, right? And. Um, uh, we'll then um, um, uh, so that that's jets um, but as soon as the phantom comes out I know there's a ton of shadows really not the phantom not the phantom the tomcat the new MSFS tomcat that has been uh, put together by a partnership of two DCS developers. A new one, India Fox Techno, and a very, very well-respected one. Um, i trying to remember the name of it, Heepler. And yeah. um, so these guys, you know, are, are very, very highly respected in DCS, have brought their skills to Microsoft. We're very interested to see what that looks like. Um, yeah, I, I, got, I got a question for you, Steve, though. Yeah. Is, is the two weeks that Energizer's talking about, is that real people ah, two weeks is or it, is that DCS two is weeks? It DCS two weeks, that's a very good point, yes. <laughs> because either that means 14 days or uh, an unknown. <laughs> yeah. Oh, what's Lucy found her land on? Oh, the little land bridge. Lovely. Yeah, nice. Um, 
So as soon as the Tomcat comes out, you know, if it's even half as good as we think it might be, there are going to be more jet streams. Um, so, warbirds. <laughs> Let's do the warbirds before the jets claim all the limelight. Actually, for the uh, for this sort of flying, uh, warbirds are quite good because um, it's just the right sort of speed. Ooh. What happened there, Shady? <laughs> like no, a flight, like a flying tank for a moment. And yeah, the cloaking device is being shared around. <laughs> yes. Uh, I can see uh, Shy Lucy, Ebon, Rookie, Shady Sim, Druid Zeus, Flying Teapot, Danis, Electron, Vault, Doctor, No Thumb. And there's somebody behind Flying Teapot. I can't quite read the name. And good evening, Castella. We're good so far. Oh, 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 I've missed the turn. I've missed the turn. Follow Andrew. Uh, go ahead, Shady. Oh, you think it might be Ebron Rookie? Yeah. No, I think I called that one out. Oh, I think it, I think it might have been your name. <laughs> oh, no. Oh. It's all gone Minecraft. I bet it's put me on um, offline. It said it would. Yeah, ping data off. Thank you for the follow flyby. I missed this bit of the route out yesterday, didn't I? This is where I had my CTD, if you remember. Um, Shady? Or was it this early in? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Dad is cutting through the back there in the gully. <laughs> Is that on airborne look he's been 
Is that the airplane ever spit? No, that that's that's the flight replicas uh, LR version. That's actually a fuel tank. Oh, right. All right. Yeah, I did read about that. What? Yeah, long range fuel tank. Yep. That one you actually have to use the rudder trim because you're going to go full right on takeoff and then back off to th uh, three and a half degrees. How strange. Was that really a thing? Yep. I've never not, seen not, photographs. Not, of many, that. not many, but uh, there were a couple. Yeah. Can they, can they get rid of it during flight? No. Oh, 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 great. You don't want that in a dogfight, do you? <laughs> oh, there's Toto. In a well, that, that would be like uh, you put that on and you'd fly from like Gibraltar to Malta and then they'd take it off. Ah, okay, yeah. So it's, a, it's for ferry flights. Yeah. Okay, yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, Toto is in the 160 and <laughs> has bought a... Uh, supply of propellers. <laughs> I think he's taken a leaf out of your book, Steve. What's or that? What, learn, learn, learn from your mistakes, rather. <laughs> Maybe I'll go with the long range one. Oh, yes, that's right. It's nice because you're never quite sure whether you're flying into the sunset or into the sunrise, are you? Oh, Dan is down! Dan is down! <laughs> oh, there he goes. Um, Got the quite... sun in my eyes. <laughs> you're quite right. At, um, it's extraordinary to think that what we're looking at there is, is the midday sun. That's as good as it gets in November. I wonder if this is north of north or south of where you live, Dan. Uh, I'm not sure, actually. So uh, we're north north coast of Iceland. So uh, just look it up. Energizer says at least they get some. <laughs> oh, th is this the right turn, Andrew? According to my flight plan, it is. Yeah, let's go with that. And I think there's another touch and go. Uh... Look at that. Excellent. What a view.
don't distract me when I'm doing a touch and go. <laughs> um, doing what says hi guys. Uh, look, working, working. <laughs> um, uh, dropping by to say hello. Um, how are you liking this bird, Steve? I love it. I really, really do like it. Um, just stand by. I need to make sure I'm following the right aeroplane. Um, oh, where's Andrew? Is Dr. Notham a good thing to follow? No, not normally. Um, uh, yeah, I'm going the wrong direction. That's why I can't see anybody. Yeah, it goes back up the up the water the way we came in. Right. Okay. Now I can see Andrew. Um, okay, liking this bird, Steve. Uh, I think it gives a solid eight out of ten, but sound needs a bit of a tweak. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. Good. Good summary. I I really enjoy flying it. I don't find any of it um, immersion breaking. Um, it's got a really endearing flight model. Um, uh, yeah, the sound could improve. The sound is being looked at. I saw a thing from them this morning. Wow. Pending update. I'm not sure when, but they are looking at it. I think, I think the worst thing for me is the, um, uh, the speed of the rudder trim adjustment is very slow, but I think I've read that. That's being, being looked, looked at, at as well. well. Um, but you know, for first time out of the box, for a very good price, I really enjoy flying it. Um, it's definitely the best Mark One. But it, it, it's also the, the, the Spitfire in Microsoft that I enjoy flying most. Um, so that's cool. I really like it. It's my favorite model. It's my, this is my, the, the one too. That's my mark. That's the one I prefer. So when you say it's your favourite model, you prefer the Spitfire Mark One A for sure, uh, or do you mean the Flying Replicas is your favourite? Um, in in real life, I prefer the uh, I prefer the Baby Spits. Yeah, me too. Yeah, 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 yeah. If 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 the implementations were the same, I would choose the Mark One A every time. Um, uh, it, it, it is fine. By its nature, more graceful, more elegant to look at, to fly. Um, yeah, Energizer is saying uh, the biggest thing that uh, Energizer hopes for is that you get um, more audible difference when the canopy opens. You know, you can hear the external sounds um, as the as the canopy opens. You don't you don't sort of get that here, um, but it sounds like they're working on the sounds. Um, but I can get away with that, you know, by just not opening the canopy. Um, uh, whereas some of the sounds uh, uh, that we've got in um, well, both of the aircraft, you know, the, the flying iron and the uh, uh, airplane heaven, the sounds are just, you know, weird. And you go, wait, what was that? You know, um, uh, as if the aircraft was getting a little bit quiet then. Yeah, I, I, I love how. Um, flying around long and if you're not paying attention the, the engine starts losing power and then it stops um, they've, they've actually modeled the systems really rather well but the scenery is <laughs> who was that who was that is that Dennis? Oops. <laughs> <Whoops. Yeah. laughs> um celestial navigator is saying the scenery here is stunning isn't it just yeah isn't it just Oh, Energizer saying the music is a bit louder than the voice. Let me look at the meter. Oh dear. Okay. Um, the meter says it's fine. <laughs> I, I wondered if I hadn't paid attention to the meter. Um, but I'll cut it back. 
it's slightly easier for me if there's less, less of it. I need, I need, I need to set it to a different place on the meter then. By the way, Steve, I checked. This is south of where I live. Oh, wow! <laughs> Quite a way south, too. Oh, my word. <laughs> Um, yeah, Energizer, that's possible, isn't it? That the, uh, the mic's been turned down. Um, I don't think so. Um, oh, you can't fly with the wrong hand. Boosted the mic as well, um, just in case. But it, it, it was the right number that I remember it being. And a uh, roll mail. Uh, g'day, guys. Greeting from Australia. Hey, Rowley. How you doing? Thanks, Energizer. Oh, oh have, I missed, have I missed the turn? Oh no, the turn's coming up. Uh, is it left? It's right. Right. Thank you. <laughs> uh, so, you know, Microsoft have done, I think, a great job in this area, haven't they? It's just relentlessly good. Until they switched my Bing maps off and then he went to Minecraft. Thanks. <laughs> uh, so, Dougal, if you're listening, you're not working too hard. How interested are you in the Vulcan? There's been quite a, a lot of debate um, amongst the shadows as to how we think that Vulcan might fare. Clearly it's an iconic aircraft. Uh, uh, people of a certain age will remember seeing it at every major air show, um, enthralled every time. Um, it's a military jet, but on the other hand, it, 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 you know, it's the size of an airliner. Um, but it's not an airliner, but how interesting. Um, yeah, it, it, you know, that that's the whole thing, Dougal, isn't it? It's that, oh, I don't know, it looks really good, but, you know, when would I use it? Um, but I did see that uh, Into the Blue video today, and it looked pretty wonderful. And having, you know, that went around making that, that, um, uh, that, comparison with an airliner they're going to they're putting an EFB in there and integrating Simbrief and Navigraph much like the uh, uh, the Phoenix A320 and how much fun was that so I don't know I, I think I think I think for me I'm leaning towards getting it um, and a few a few Months ago, I, I didn't think I would, but it does look good. But when I, when I fly more than once, we just don't know, do we? We just don't know. Uh, okay, let's have a look at chat. Um, Ebon Rookie, I think it's a great price for what you get. It does seem to be, doesn't it? Um, Goblin Zeus, I know the Vulcan because I read about the Falcon's War. That was extraordinary, wasn't it? Um, what was the name of the mission? Uh, uh, Energizer, I'm surprised at how cheap it was. Yeah, yeah, it looks real good value, doesn't it? 
Um, Dougal says Q8 Pilot is also previewing it on Saturday. Oh, I look forward to that. Black Buck, that's the mission name. Thank you, Celestial. It will be a buy for me, says Goblin Zeus, for the Vulcan. Um, I'm going to go back onto July. A um, few clouds. This is beautiful around here, and I'm just not seeing it at the moment. Um, okay, I've got the I've got the feed. If you want to do the same, um, uh, shady. Fantastic scenery around here. Former over there in the VL3, welcome. Oh, where's my map? Okay, we're good. Right, let's go back to Shady. In case anyone was, was wondering, pylons still hurt. <laughs> Do we ask you how you know? <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> See, that's why Dougal dropped in. <laughs> yeah. Oh, so Dougal turns up and the pylons appear. <laughs> um. Uh, Celestial Navigator. The cockpit is great in track IR and VR. Claustrophobic, but very immersive. Um, yeah, I'll be very interested. Um, uh, I, I've been in the cockpit of a, of a real bog. And it Big though it is, you're right, it, it did feel a bit claustrophobic. <laughs> Full mark, good evening. Joining a little later, brilliant. Uh, Goblin Zeus, can't wait for the new F 14 and the CJS Raphael. Now, um, I don't think we've had any conversations about. The Raphael. Um, perhaps you can let us know a little bit about that. Um, uh, but the F-14, there's a huge amount of excitement within uh, within the shadows for that F-14. Um, Celestial. I may do a Vulcan stream with Celestial Nav. The Falcons together with Captain Arash. Wow. That would be a long stream. Turn <laughs> left, people. Oh, thank you. Oh, yes. Yeah, that was a while ago, wasn't it? Turn left, follow Andrew. Can we get Steve to do celestial navigation? I can't even follow a road. There, there's there's one thing I've noticed, Stephen. I don't know if, if you've now picked up the, the airplane heaven 
1A seems a little snappier in roll than this one does. Yeah. Um, although this this does turn. Um, don't know. Uh, I mean, there is a a general. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. It 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 does seem. This one seem is definitely faster than than the Mark Nine, which is the way it should be. Right. In roll, I mean, not in speed. I'm with you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so Celestial, uh, by the way, Cell Nav version 4 is coming out soon with easy auto mode, now we're talking, and actually looking through the viewfinder. Oh, wow. Okay, uh, so we search for Celestial Navigator on YouTube and uh, we can get to find out about it. Uh, did you notice, Steve, in Weights of Balance, you can take the ammunition out? No, I didn't. Oh, cool. Uh, ah, there we go. Celestial Navigator saying search for MSFS Celestial Navigation V4 Preview Demo. In fact, that came up in my YouTube feed just this afternoon. Uh, so YouTube knows about it. Oh yes, trying to find out, trying to get, um, This is a great little run down to this this valley here. It's lovely. See uh, Dr. No Thumb in the Flying Replicas Spitfire Mark 1A uh, flying teapot in the RK9. Um, Eagle in the MiG 29. Dennis in the Eagle R100 Electron Volt in the Corsair. Airborne Rocky in um, the Flying Replicas Spitfire as well as Andrew. And Toto in the 160, which sadly I've uninstalled because of the sound bug, uh, so for me it doesn't look like a 160.
Well, I haven't flown. I don't think. I don't think we've ever done a shadow stream in Iceland. I don't. Don't remember doing one. Um, I used to come here in the very early days of MSFS 2020. Um, uh, and it, it wasn't nearly as good as this. So, I mean, maybe people that have been here uh, more often uh, might, might be able to clarify that, but this seems to me to be a fabulous update for the world, the world update. Uh, Dougal says, um, didn't they fix the 160 sound bug with its recent update? Wow. I need to update it. Thank you. Can't remember where I bought it from. Where did we buy it from, Dougal? <laughs> it's uh, Marketplace, isn't it? Oh. Ah. Uh, I was going to say, so why didn't it tell me it had been updated? It's because I've got it uninstalled, right? It won't tell me, will it? Right. Excellent. But there's still FPS problems. Oh, okay. So it's all right if we just got one or two, but... Uh, This is doing a touch and go every quarter of a mile. <laughs> We've got another touch and go coming up, Andrew. fairly sizable one we could we could do a full stop here chocolate break The row icons, row icons along the top with a green mountain kind of shape. Click that, that toggles it on and off. We'll try and spoke and Steve. Oh, okay. Uh, so uh, I got your feed then, Andrew, uh, for Shady. And Andrew, thank you very much. That's fixed it. Perfect. I'm back. I'm back. <laughs> He's back. Great. But we want to set up for Carnage Cam, I think. That's what I was trying to do. Oh, and that's what broke it. Okay. okay, here we go. Shady. I can also see, um, let me just uh, come here. We've got Ogata. Okay, Ty, 36, in a Spitfire, welcome. You know, Steve, there hasn't been a lot of quotes from uh, from Battle of Britain, so I'll throw one at you right now. On your tail, Jamie. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's, um... Oh, we've missed the touch and go. Come back, come back. Back there somewhere, guys, where you guys are. Oh, there's um, Zen Carnival. Hello. Um, 
Yeah, back there somewhere was the airfield. Might be a good spot to uh, refill who's deep. My top tank's empty and my bottom is about two thirds, three quarters. Oh. Are those two gauges? They're not top and bottom tanks, are they? Yep. Oh. How handy is Dif that? D different from the uh, two and the nine. Because uh, even, even here, even with this one, the two only has the single lower tank. But the Mark One has one for both. I didn't know that. That does make a lot of sense. Killer Mike, good evening.
Yeah, Doctor Thumb. I I hear the I hear the 160, but it's quiet and only when he's really close. So. Fingers crossed. It's fixed. Okay. Should we go? Uh, whoever's in Mark 9 just gone past me. Check check flaps if you're taking off. If you're landing, then it's fine. Celestial Navigator is asking if the Flying Iron 109 being 18 pounds, is that a discounted price? Uh, well, it's certainly a lot cheaper than when it was launched. right now normally 45 Australian dollars it's on sale right now for 33 so, so, it, so it is on discount cool yep yep all for all for actually all four of their aircraft are on sale right now for the Black Friday sale nice yeah poke against Steve that's all right I got it fantastic scenery isn't it Oh, Energizer hasn't flown the P-38. <laughs> okay. I'm back. Okay. There we go. As I said, it's couldn't find enough buckets of bolts to get it in the air. It did sound rubbish, didn't it? It was. It's only the external view, for some reason, when it was on idle, I think. Um, but yeah, what a strange noise. But there is indeed a lot of excitement about the. Uh, New India Fox Echo F14 Tomcat. There is talk that quite a few of the systems might have been implemented. Um, we shall see. I tried to break the uh, wind noise on the flying iron in the same way that I broke the backfire. It doesn't work. Oh, that's a shame. It was worth. Yeah, I mean, both those things are quite emotion-breaking, aren't they? Um, 
Yeah. Well, unfortunately, the wind noise only happens if you're an external view. Yeah. Yeah. Don't follow me, I'm lost. Oh, what am I going to do without Andrew? <laughs> oh, it could be a long stream. It's this way. Again, cross the sea, cross the sea. And uh, Dougal, if you're still with us, please accept my apologies. Thank you so much for the tier one subscription. Thank you. I see a fly with Nick. You do? Oh, above and behind. He's on your six, six o'clock high. In a Mark Nine. Wow. He's hiding from me. Blame him, <laughs> I can't see him. Try looking the other way. Uh, that way. Yeah, he's back towards where I am, Steve. Oh, he's on your 12. Oh, is he ahead of them? Yeah, right above me. Oh, fly with Nick. Yeah, okay. Let's... Waving to fly with Nick. Hello, Nick. Taka, taka, taka. <laughs> I 
You're supposed to fly with him, not shoot him. <laughs> and M Dag X seventeen. Welcome. Navigating and flying and running a stream is not as easy as it looks, you know. We won't call Steve your rules. <laughs> yes. Okay, thank you. First time tonight. Just, just just be careful of the little shimmy to the right and then the sharp left. <laughs> okay. And um, MDAG is coming into the P38. Of interest, is this Nick's cockpit? Am I seeing Nick's cockpit? <laughs> well, he is in a Mark 9. Oh, and it's clip wing. Okay, that is definitely Nick. Nobody else would be flying a clip wing and call it a Spitfire. <laughs> Yes, okay, that's a yes. <laughs> uh, we've got to turn left here. No. I see it's broken again, Shady. <laughs> Where did it send you this time? Yeah. I'm never quite sure. <laughs> it just puts me six foot under, basically. Well, um, Energizer, uh, I think we're in the south of England, and and it sent him to America where Epic was, <laughs> and then came back. Okay, now. Uh, let's see. A little bit of a river run. Oh, I've missed it. Turn left. Turn left. It's the river run. Which river? There seem to be two. Yeah, neither of them. Don't follow me. So it's not these two. It's this one. Yeah, it's this one. <coughs> um. Only people that saw that Nick was everyone. No, the bent propeller. <laughs> oh, hey. and Nick is in voice. Hello, Nick. Hey, everyone. How's everyone doing? <laughs> um, I hope you're not still streaming my camera. Oh, I, I am, actually. Yeah, it was oh, too no, good to miss. I'll go across to Shady now. Shady Cam. Okay, here we go. <laughs> You're free to repair. <laughs> So you, 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 you need one of those uh, rare one of three ones with the floats there, Nick. <laughs> yes. Um, happy Thanksgiving, everyone. Oh, yes. Happy Thanksgiving. Um, happy so, Thanksgiving. So when does that all kick off for you? Is it is it 
we, uh, today. It, it's to, oh right. Yeah, they 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 make the Americans make the big deal and whatnot. A Black Friday, but Thanksgiving is actually the Thursday. Ah, oh, so I suppose it's like us having Christmas Day and Boxing Day, and the sales are on Boxing Day. Well, yeah, sense. something like that. Yeah. <laughs> We don't have any sales on Boxing Day. Everything's closed. Uh, yeah. I've not got much inclination to go shopping on Boxing Day. <laughs> I haven't spent three months doing the Christmas shopping. Uh, how have you been keeping, Nick? I think you've been very busy, haven't you? Thanks for popping in. Yeah, very busy. Um, but it's uh, this is the reason why I'm able to take some time off, because everyone's on holiday today. Oh, wonderful. Yeah. This is a national holiday, and so is tomorrow. Uh, awesome. And so a lot of people take the whole week off. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah it's, it's the weekend of sales, because it's Black Friday tomorrow, and then it's Cyber Monday on Monday. Yes. <laughs> yeah, we don't celebrate Thanksgiving, but we do have Black Friday. Yes, that is uh, well, a strange thing, isn't it? We, we, and Black we, Week and Black Month and everything. Yeah, like we have, like in Canada, we have Black Friday and Cyber Monday, but our Thanksgiving was was a month ago. So, oh, there goes Dennis, even faster and even lower. Ooh. Live weather, sunset sets everything covered in snow. Yes, it's um, it, it, it's great fun to do that. Uh, the reason we've come off live weather is because the um, snow uh, looked great, but there's this fantastic ortho underneath because of the world update and we just weren't seeing it. So, um, but it does look wonderful, I'll give you that. And it's getting to be that time of the day, gentlemen. So, okay. uh, Nick, if you can keep an eye on Steve and keep him from getting lost. <laughs> no, one, no one can do that, Andrew. Good no luck one with that, yes. <laughs> well, at the very least, you tell him when to turn left. <laughs> <laughs> Thank I you for keeping you. me. <laughs> I will see you guys later. <laughs> Good night. Good night. Good night da Andrew. Dennis, do you think we could land on this road? Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. He probably has several times. Uh, so it's a bit of a bendy runway, isn't it? It's probably a straightish bit. Oh, it's got an S curve. Brilliant. Shouldn't be a problem. Okay. Yeah. Should be fine, right? Oh, Lee McKillar Mike's down. Nice. Dennis is down. In a good way. <laughs> <laughs> For once, I actually landed. <laughs> Them trees. Oh, yeah. Oh. yeah. Oh, and that plane. Oh, and the plane. <laughs> sorry, Lee McKellar Mike. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Bad FPS. Four to seven. Uh, oh. It's a bit old. <laughs> <laughs> the brakes are truly terrible, aren't they? <laughs> I 
out for you. That would probably be really tranquil without the engine going. Don't look. It'll be fine. Oh, hello, P38. <laughs> Dennis is having fun. Always. Uh see him. So I had to come off the beta because it stopped supporting multiplayer. I wondered if it would. Yeah, you guys are right. I mean, I was on about two betas, I think two major releases without any issues, but the latest one is uh, just kicks you off. Yeah. Uh, we got it doesn't kick you off. It forces you onto uh, East USA, and then who knows if you could even see anyone. But... <laughs> yes, and that's when it's working. <laughs> yeah. uh, right, where's the bat? Where's the bat? Okay, I'm good. Uh, so uh, we're going to put down at... An Icelandic word. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even. Sounds about right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I spoke it like a native. It's got way too many syllables, so none of them make any sense. B I B R, that's where we're going. I landed and broke my propeller. <laughs> oh no. Uh, go back in the cockpit and you can click on a propeller and it should fix it. <laughs> Energizer, is that Steve rehearsing Christmas songs? <laughs> no, I think he's talking to a baby. <laughs> Shady, how's the drone work? How's the drone work going? Uh, it keeps burying me. It's, yeah. it's been a bit mean to him, but he's he's pretty good at it. Good. Good. Oh, you can't complain about the landscape around here, can you guys? So Steve, uh, what uh, what are you in? That's a new aircraft. I'm in the new flying replicas Spitfire. Is it good? I love it. Yeah. Which yeah. Uh, what what mark is it? Mark One A. Uh, okay. My, my favourite. It's it's the Battle of Britain version. It flies beautifully. Uh, there's a few niggles with it. Um, the uh, the rudder trim is a little bit slow to actuate and uh, the sound is okay, it's not a motion braking, but it, you know, it's, it's no DC-6. Um, but I understand both of those are slated for improvement. Uh, so, uh, and a ridiculously cheap price of 16 pounds. Nice. It's just great. Really enjoy flying it. And the propeller doesn't stop when you go under a bridge. <laughs> That's the darkness. That's strange. Nick's plane's showing up as a an actual Spitfire. For me, uh, not a clip, not a clip wing. Oh, even though I've yeah. got the, 
Oh, the clip wing, the clip wing stopped being multiplayer about a year ago. Um, oh. It was, it was multiplayer, and That's... then it became not multiplayer. Uh, I, I probably had a lot of complaints. Maybe, uh... <laughs> because people kept flying the clip wing. Um, uh, Energizer, it's complicated. Um, hang on. P thirty eight. Very nice. Oh, bit up close and personal there, Nick. Uh, what happened? Uh, Nick managed to not Nick. No, no, no. I said Nick. I sleep before light. I think. I said Nick because the button is still called Nick, even though Shady is transmitting on that feed. <laughs> oh, I see. <laughs> Nick had actually gone inside. Uh, is that Mark 9? Yes, that's Mark 9. Uh, that, I think that's probably Shady, though, right? I meant Shady. Yeah. Oh, this is the airport, guys. What, the. Uh, is it, the okay. Field. So for people that are new to the stream, what happens is uh, we. Um, yeah, we have um, we we have a break because there's so much hand flying. Uh, so we'll be putting down here, and uh, then we will cut across live to DCS World, where we'll watch the Shadow Display team uh, do one of the latest routines. Uh, they are practicing very hard uh, because. Um, uh, they've been invited to fly in the virtual international air tattoo viat anyway it's on the uh sunday the 10th of december um they're very excited about it and they're doing a lot of practice and they're they're, they're doing quite a lot of changes to their routine as well um and we'll probably get a little glimpse of that uh, in, a, in a few minutes time, probably around about nine o'clock. And then we'll be back on Microsoft to uh, finish the Icelandic tour. Uh, if you were interested in the flight replicas, Spitfire Nick is only available on the marketplace. Okay. That's actually good. Because when I buy it, they're going to give me a short Sunderland instead. <laughs> but isn't it going to take three weeks? And, um... <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> The sim is smoother than when I last flew. Oh, right. Yeah, but it could be because I'm not on the beta. Um, I don't know. Could be because we're in Iceland. Yeah. Yep. It's nice.
Ms. 38 is so lovely. Oh yeah. I really love it. I love this aircraft. Except when you park next to it and it's on tick over. Oops, bit of yo-yo in there. That hasn't changed. Yeah, definitely smoother. Interesting. Yeah, it's, it's interesting, isn't it? Because yeah. uh, I have had... Yeah. Uh, um, Quite a few updates, right? Yeah. Celestial Navigator is going to change into the 109. Um, Goblin Zeus have a hard time uh, bleed speed off with a Mark 9. Um, yes. One one of the several reasons I stopped flying it. <laughs> it's just, just too many things that made you think, oh, it doesn't feel like an aeroplane. That Tail Dragon A320 is quite funny to look at. That Tail yeah, that's the DC-3, unfortunately. Uh, is it? Oh, yes. Uh, it, me, yeah, I is, assumed it was the 160, my... but that's got that's a, a nose wheel, yeah. isn't it? So I didn't realize you were using my feed. I, I, I thought it was probably on Shady's feed. It's probably got it installed. Um, I don't think it does, actually, but there you go. Oh, yes, yeah, yes, he has a DC-3, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That, yeah. yeah, I've ended up with two DC-3s. I think one of them is actually a DC-3. <laughs> the other one's in drag. The other one's a P-38, I think. Oh, okay. So... Shady, you need your name tags. Right, yeah. I think I have got it installed and I just keep forgetting to activate it. Oh, I can help you with it. I mean, it can help me with it better, but uh, yeah. That's, um... Probably need some tweaking as well. Uh, yeah, I've got I've got the latest. Um, it looks like you might. The latest data already have it installed it, Maybe do, it does look it yeah i wondered that it's just that oh do you have um tiny nameplates installed shady yeah ah, i see yeah you got to uninstall that one i think oh sorry energizer i was on three but i can stop i need to stop sorry it was just a fun thing oh uh, i was stopped okay thank you it's only okay. that, uh, right that's great brilliant thank energizer you. go ahead yeah. no i just thought it'd be fun to oh it's great you yeah that's the, lovely uh, that's wings for a while. I didn't mean to take any. No, it's fabulous. Right. Um, nice so I've, a, I've arrived in DCS, but I'm in the wrong place.
Uh, the, the C160 has an update. Did they fix the multiplayer thing? They didn't, right? No, apparently they did. Oh, they did? Yeah. Oh, wow. Um, so, okay. I need to reinstall it. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. Um, right. So, I've arrived. Uh, let, oh, oh, no. No, no. Uh, one more button. And then... Okay. Catch you all very soon. Let's go across to DCS World. I wouldn't even notice. Hello, it. DCS World. Hello, Lou. Hello. 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 Right. Hi. I've arrived. I found a blanket. This grass needs cutting. Uh, That's oh. your job, Steve. <laughs> your ground crew. <laughs> Ground crew, I could do ground crew. Just usually a five spit fire for a little while around you, don't you? <laughs> yeah, that would do, yeah. For a helicopter. Yeah, an Apache. <laughs> Upside down helicopter. Um Yes. Yes. Oh, right. So we we, we need music. Um it's, you do do you have my feed? Because OBS doesn't tell me anything. I uh well um so you're on one, are you? I hope so, yeah. Okay, and 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 what because i don't have a preview so it's, i'm just going to click and see what it's like oh interesting right so i do have it let's just create a preview of that okay so yeah it doesn't do it. i updated obs and it doesn't give me a green light anymore it's a blue weird thingy so you can't tell if you've connected maybe blue yeah. is good <laughs> well that's blue not progress is it let's, let's try frozen scan i can see the uptime like how long i've been live but doesn't give me a red or green light. Well, that would have been nice, wouldn't it? Uh, Ring bolt, hello. The ground crew needs to cut the grass. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and FD. Yes. Yeah, just checking your feet. Very good. I think we're good to go, aren't we? No, we're not. No, we're not. Uh, so, um, Energizer is on that one. Good. I need to turn the volume up. Oh, for my feed? Uh, no, uh, for mine. Okay. I lowered mine because I'm very close to the. Yeah, no, that's planes. a good idea. Yeah, I, I normally just use the sound from my feed all the way through. <laughs> the gauge is blinding me. Okay. Um, <laughs> we're good to go. Let's try it. One check. Two. Three. Four. Six check. On smoke. On the brakes, pad 25. Off the brakes. Three, two, one, roll. 95, power up. Rotate. Release. Gear up. Flaps up and push. Release. Smoke on, go. Coming up now. Rolling right now. Holding the bank now. Right now, power back, rolling out now, releasing, 
Turn back. Barrel roll, coming up, now. Hold no. Rolling, left, now. Hold no. There. Roll complete. Releasing. Holding it there. Rocket. Go. Rolling right now. Holding Burbank now. Tightening. Releasing. Rolling out now. Rolling left now. Holding the bank now tightening. Rolling right now. Holding the bank now. Wide, go. Tightening. Releasing. Holding it there. Tightening. Rolling out. Delta, roll, go. Hold me there. Holding the bank now, releasing. Coming up now. Rolling left now. Holding the bank now. Tighten. Holding out now. Releasing. Power back. Set. Releasing. Standby corkscrew. Corkscrew. Go. Flares, go. Robin, right now. Delta, go. 
Hold me. Power. Set. Four. Power. Set. Tight wing. Little right. Holding the bank now. Tight wing. Hold me. Rolling left now. Holding the bank. Now, invader, go, power back. Flares, go. Speed break, out, now, power set. Speed break, in, now. Releasing, rolling, right, now. Holding the bank now. Tight. Tight. Releasing, rolling out now. Hammer, go. Ninety five power at me. Set. Loop, coming up now. Rolling left now, Delta go. Releasing. Hold link. Her back. Little push. Release. Coming up now. Rolling left now. Flares, go. Hyphen, go. Little more left. Holding the bank now. Hyphen.
throw the same throwing out now. Speed break out now. Coming up. Speed break in now. Smoke off. Space out. And rolling. Six, smoke on, go. Flares, go. Little white. Flares, go. Oh no. Little more right. Hold me. Smoke off. Rolling out. Space out. Pushing. And roll. Rolling right now. Two. Hold me. Three, four, six. Python, no, sorry. Phoenix, go. Smoke on, go. Tighten. A little more right. Hold there. Tighten. Releasing. Rolling out. How back? Hyphen. Go. Little right. A little less right. Rolling out. Stand by. Spacing. Yep. Stand by, yep. Ready? Roll. Break. Go. 5G. Smoke off. Ladies and gentlemen, you've been watching the Shadow Display to live from DCS. Oh. Smoke's on, 400, 060. Led by HCBR with FD, Frozen, Rolling Rock, Gowden, and Macy. Uh, live camera footage has been from me on the picnic blanket and from Energizer in the uh, the GoPro cans. We've had cockpit footage from FD and from Frozen. 380. 60. Two. Three. Four. Six. Smoke on. Go. H. There was some. Um, <laughs> uh, there was some talk in the chat as to whether this is actually live. I wonder if you get them to switch their smoke off and then back on again for me. Smoke off. Go. 
Smoke on, go. Thank you. Robin, out, next. Speed break, out, now. Robin, right, now. <laughs> Except to push the wrong button. <laughs> I don't, think, I don't think they saw the smoke off at all. H, do it again. Smoke off, go. Smoke on, go. Yeah. And you can prove it's live, because otherwise it's going to push the right button first, right? <laughs> 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 Thank you, guys. Great flight. Landing gear coming down now. Rolling out now. Her back. So. Tight in. Roll them right. back a little more. Set. Flaps half now. Tightening. Flaps full now. Releasing. Power. Tightening. Smoke off, go. Power. Six, go. One, power off. Speed brake. And brakes. Oh, my guys. Sound smoke. Heavy brakes. Speed braking, flaps half. Staggered, go. Off the brakes. Turning right. Trail, go. Hands off. Dr. No Thumb says, awesome. Applause from Toto, Goblin Zeus, Hockatar. Slowing down. JD, great flying. Stopping. Nose wheel to high. And turn. Okay, start the vote, guys. HCBR, Gaudin, FD, Frozen, or Macy. Good show, says Fulmar. Awesome, says Goblin Zeus. But who's going to be the last one to blow up? Frozen, says Zeb and Ricky. Energizer says H. Dr. Notham says Frozen. Toto says FD. Everyone ready? 
second. Yep. Ready. Ready. On the brakes. Power full now. Jump, jump, jump. HD, uh, FD and H, clear ahead. HD. 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 Okay. <laughs> HD and FCBR. <laughs> <laughs> so we got a Gowding going high. FD going higher. Oh, true. Oh yeah, Gowding's turned down, but FD has gone really high. Uh, Frozen is still on the way up though? No. Yeah. Sideways, huh? Oh, FD's down. Frozen. Oh, it's frozen. Well done, frozen. <laughs> well done, guys. Just leave. Brilliant. Okay, I'll catch you later. You Bye. Soon. Thank you so Thank much. You. Bye. Bye. Hello, Microsoft. Hello. Hello. Welcome back, everyone. Thank you. Ah, uh, wait, wait, wait. There we go. Right. Oh, uh, no, we need we need a feed. Um, uh, that's confusing. So Sean was in a chance of us all that one. So let's go shady. Yes. Shady, are you on two? Yeah. Yeah, okay, makes sense. Steve Acord and I were talking about dreaded AI. <laughs> uh -huh. we, we stopped cold when you came in because we don't want to, uh, you know, or everyone with our boring analysis of the world. <laughs> and AI. <laughs> AI, good or evil. Now there's a topic of conversation. Well, we've, uh, we've, <laughs> we've designed AI, Steve, to take over your job. <laughs> it's Steve GPT. Steve GPT. Steve GPT. Um, but can it forget to, to push all the right buttons? Well... <laughs> uh, I think channel one is free, Nick. Oh, I don't want to step on anyone. Oh, it's I don't, fine. I, I don't think you are. Um, oh, please do. <laughs> yeah. Okay, but it will just be a uh, VR if that's okay, because I'm going to fly. I haven't flown for like three months. Actually, I've not really flown for about five, four months. Wow. It's quite fun, isn't it? It's quite fun flying in the sim. Yes, it really is. Yeah. Well, I'm very interested in the Vulcan. And I'm very interested in the new Tomcat on its way in. Exciting times. Yeah, there's so much other better things you could be interested in, to be honest. Oh, you're very quiet there, um, uh, Acorn, but I think you were talking better. nonsense, so that's okay. Um... <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 do, I do feel, though, that you there are far more exciting aircraft coming out. Oh, aircraft. I thought you were going to say there's far more exciting things I could be doing other than flying in a sim. Um, other than eating dessert. Other than eating, yes, eating. I had a wagon moment the other night. Oh. Hey, how brave was I? It's good going for you, that, Steve. Oh, huge, yeah. What did you have? Chicken? Chicken with noodles or no, rice? No, 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 rice. White firecracker rice. chicken. No, that sounds a bit. Yeah, no. Rice um, eye. Uh, it, had, it had sort of a uh, gloop. Um, brownie 
gloop. Um, so uh, not descriptive. Curry flavoured gloop. Oh. Oh, I don't know what you mean. Rassai curry or something, like racing curry or something. Like I can't remember what it's called. Yeah. Uh, well, it, it it was it was like a they looked like chicken nuggets, um, but oh, katsu curry. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, and they were sort of lemon. I think it was a lemon flavour. It was really nice. Oh. <laughs> uh, Nick, is that you with the sound effects? <laughs> Uh, yeah, sorry, sorry. Nobody else sorry. knows how to do that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, just stopping now, stopping. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's still going. I'm so sorry. Stop it. Stop. <laughs> um, I also had we ate out and I had a ham, egg, and chips with English mustard. Yuck. Oh, it's the best. No. If you like duck, the duck dombori at Wagamama's is good. Oh, is it? Ooh. Yeah, very good. Um, had a Marks and Spencer's um, ch- chicken pie tonight. Um, um, chicken and leek pie with mustard. That's oh, okay. Cool. Yeah, it was nice. And the other day we tried the pie that was uh, turkey with all the trimmings. So had a bit oh, of from Marks and Spencer's? Yeah, scrummy. Is it any that good? Was, oh, it's nice. Yeah, scrummy. Yeah? It, it had some sort of cranberry to it. It was... Uh, yeah. CTD. What? <laughs> yeah. And now you remember why you stopped flying. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, no, that is, actually isn't the reason at all. But that is funny. <laughs> I don't get them very much. It was, a, yeah, going into VR. Oh. Anyway. Actually, it's been a while since you've been VR on Microsoft, hasn't it? Because uh, uh, just before you got busy, I think you were just 2D for a while. Yeah. Have you ever heard of poverty pie, Maple? Yes. Tea pie. Hobbity. Hobbity. Yeah, apparently I had one last night. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody told you. <laughs> it's vegetables, isn't it? Leek and potato. Yeah. Oh, that sounds alright. And an onion as well. Yeah, that sounds alright. It's like potato okay, and right. onion and cheese with leeks, yeah. I've never heard of it before. <laughs> what did you call it? Hobbity pie. Hobbity. Hobbity. Okay. When my wife said, when she mentioned it, I said, I said a what? <laughs> she told me the name, a what? <laughs> it's the same food, they keep changing the names. Was it homemade? Yeah. Very good. Yeah, she, she had a, a trip to the farm shop. Ooh. And perused the ridiculous Christmas decorations. Oh. oh. <laughs> Not... some, some, some of them were quite worrying. <laughs> we, we need pictures of those in the Discord. <laughs> Steve, uh, uh, Shady's, Shady, Shady's concluded that Thanksgiving is worth adopting because it basically is just an earlier holiday than Christmas to start the Christmas season. Yeah. Yeah, it probably gets you in the mood. I, I must admit. I, I do struggle with autumn a little bit. And by the time I get to the end of November, I've sort of had enough. Um, so to have, you know, a, a bit of a holiday uh, to sort of celebrate and get get everybody back into the brightly coloured lights mood. Yeah, it's not the worst, is it? Yeah, good idea. Yeah, apparently it celebrates the beginning of the holiday season. Oh. All we get is an advent calendar. Yeah. <laughs> Do you remember the Blue Peter advent calendar? The one that caught fire? No. Really? Oh, 
That was the good old days before there was health and safety. <laughs> um, well, they made like a, a, a mobile, didn't they? Yeah, Two it was, it was a mobile because I, I think I think they had a candle for each show until Christmas, and there was four, I suppose, or maybe eight. I can't remember. Um, and um, so they had a couple of coat hangers um, crossed at ninety degrees, and possibly another couple underneath. And they they wound tinsel around them all, and then stuck real candles on the edges and lit them when it was, you know, that show. <laughs> One of these caught fire. Everybody was fine. But in those days, you know, lots of people were using naked flames for all sorts of things, and including heating. Um, not less so now. Right. Do I know the direction? Uh, Southish, that's where we need to go, Southish. Um, why does the map not look like what I see? Yeah, keep going that way, Steve, I think. This way? Yeah, and I think we follow the river? Yeah, spot on. Get, get out of that ravine. The left one or the right one? Uh, right one. Okay. Oh, no, 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 wrong button. So, I can see Electron Vault in the ME109 flying teapot in the RK9. Doctor, no thumb in the Spitfire. Uh, fly with Nick in the Spitfire. Um, Druid Zeus in the Tex 2. Um, Al in. Can't read it, it's obscured. Um, Airborne Rookie in the Spitfire. Um, M Dag X in the P38. Fulmar in the VL3. I was just about to cut back to Energizer, but he's in a different, not Energizer, not Energizer, Shady, but he's in a different country. Um, so we go to Nick. And now I don't know where I'm going. Yeah, that's it, follow the river. scenery. Let me know when you're back, Shady. Uh, yeah, I've got someone. <laughs> Is it one of us? Yeah, Doctor No Fun. There we go. So, there's a very special ridge here, um, I think, is it the highest ridge? Yeah, um, Tol, Tolakarikaya. We can land on that. Good view. Tricky though, isn't it? 
Because it's only one letter away from a bridge, so I reckon you could. <laughs> a bridge? <laughs> might might be a carnage cam back there, um JD. Anyone's up for the Airborne is just flying over it now. Electron bolt doing a fly fly of it. First bit was good. Yeah, worst of it was carnage. <laughs> oh dear. Okay, I'm down. Upside. Upside. Yes. <laughs> Everyone follow Steve. <laughs> You gonna fly eight cord? I am just sorting some stuff out. Inu in not. Thank you very much for the follow. So, am I the only one here upside down? Anyone else coming in? Oh, is somebody trying it? End of the L three. Oh, good touch and go. Well, that was interesting because that looked like the P38 that did a pass was inverted, which is quite smart because if I've bounced and ended up upside down, then if they approach upside down, they might end up on the wheels, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, well, Landy, if I knew where you were, says uh, Ringbot. <laughs> oh, yeah, you see, same yeah, answer. Yeah. <laughs> There's two of us upside down now, and and a third. <laughs> I don't feel quite so bad now. <laughs> <laughs> we got a bit of a squadron here now. Uh, the upside down squadron. I think, I think you've worked it out, Steve. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Approach inverted, guys. Approach inverted. See what happens. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and upside down. And, and Nick, are you upside down as well? Uh, yeah, um, no. No. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> Um, that's, uh, yes. <laughs> nice. Electron Fold Upside Down 109. <laughs> uh, this is not flat. No, it's not. Uh, Eagle and the PC-21. Is that Castella? Oh, hundred <laughs> percent so far. Well, upside down, yeah. <laughs> oh, Selton Reich is cheating. Selton Reich is cheating. What a great idea! What's ouch in German? <laughs> says Celestial Navigator. <laughs> oh, at proper landing in the P thirty eight. No. Most of it was good, just it was only the last bit that was a problem. Is, is there anyone going to try inverted? I want come in inverted to see if you went up the right way. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Just a theory. Oh dear. Right. Well. Right. Back on your wheels then. Oh. The propeller stopped as well. 
too late. I'm already rolling down the hill. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Just crashed through somebody else's inverted spit. Check ride. I come to say hello and see a bunch of spits taking naps. Steve, what did you do? It wasn't me, it was the mountain. It was mean to us. Omar just uh, disproved the theory and landed the right way up. Oh! Uh, um, the approach was not inverted. No. Oh, well done, Fulmer. Right, I can't leave you alone for more than a week. <laughs> uh, it was on the flight plan. Castella, absolutely amazing, Landy. <laughs> oh, good. Uh, Steve, I think your flaps are down. That's why you're going very, very slowly. Oh, thank you. I think it's quite cool, but you could tell that my flaps were down. So obviously in the new uh, Spitfire, um, uh, things like that work in multiplayer. That's super cool. Yeah. spend some time in the summer in Iceland. I did. I did indeed. And I recognized somewhere we landed at earlier. Oh, wow. Um, and yeah, this is where I took a helicopter over a volcano and I felt the heat inside the, vo the helicopter. Oh, wow. It's uh, hard. Which is simultaneously amazing and terrifying, actually. <laughs> yes. It does make you wonder because because uh, there's makes you wonder if there's an air density problem. Yeah, it's actually true. Yeah, well, the, there's going to be a lot of updraft, right, as well. Oh, so maybe that compensates for the fact there's not yeah. much lift because there's not much air. But that would worry me, you know. <laughs> I mean, we didn't. We, didn't uh, we, ne we were never hovering over the over the cald caldera, caldera. That would be stupid. But, but we were kind of banking over it, and yeah, it was very hot. <laughs> wow. Uh, so we are headed now um, to the area that's been in the news, uh, which is right down on the southwestern corner. Um, is, is, is that where um, that's right. you went? Yeah, no, that's exactly right. Yeah. Uh, and, and there is an area that looks fantastic called the Blue Lagoon. Um, uh, and uh, that looks quite a resort for, uh, um, and uh, they, it's all closed. Um, I can't go. Oh, near interesting. It. Uh, yeah. And and just south of the Blue Lagoon, there's, there's some kind of settlement uh, town, hmm. and that's closed. Um, so uh, yeah, quite a lot of disruptions going on. Oh, coming right, coming right.
so how lucky you were to uh, to go when you did. Um, yeah, exactly. I, I, you know, I kind of assumed there were volcanoes all the time, but there are. Yeah. There actually are. Yeah. I do. I do feel sorry for my boss because he he booked it a week before it started kicking off. Oh. Uh, he said, "You know what?" He said, "This year has been crazy with work. I'm going to treat the wife and, and my son to go away for Christmas. First time in 47 years that my wife has never been away from the family at Christmas. I'm going to treat them to swimming in the Blue Lagoon. Well, wow. not the Blue Lagoon." Um, and then a week later, bam. But, I mean, I have to say, though, does, I mean, really, uh, you know, is the press overhyping it? Uh, well, overhyping what? I, it, there's, a, there's another one going on, right? Yeah, but, I mean, from what it sounds like, there's no flights delayed, there's no flights being cancelled to, to Iceland. You know, it seems like if it was in the UK, the UK would react as in the whole world needs to stop. You know? Yeah. Whereas, no, Iceland, Iceland is very used to these things. Like, exactly. Yeah, yeah. So I think the, I think the press is uh, kind of making out as if, oh my God, look at this, which quite rightly, you know, natural, but still, that uh, you know. I'm sure if you go to Iceland right now, they'll be like, yeah, and? <laughs> um, uh, I'm, I'm guessing the problem is they don't know whether it's going to be a big eruption or, or small. Yeah. And if it's well, big, remember, of course, it did, that's terrible. It, it did matter in 2010, remember? The whole of Europe was yeah. well, around it. There was, it was that, yeah. yeah, the volcano eruption that stopped UK airspace. Yes. <laughs> well, sorry. I mean, well, it, had, yes, it had actually a global knock-on effect, right? It was oh, quite gotcha. big. Uh, well, I, I understand that that dust that went up in the air um, was, was it like silicon base? It was like little tiny particles of, of glass. Um, yeah. And that, that was causing immense amounts of damage to the uh, the jet engines, I think. Yeah. You might need to take the drone for a minute, Steve. Okay. I got it. Uh, check ride's going back to lurking. <laughs> Don't get lost. Okay, check ride. Have a great Thanksgiving. So, when is your meal scheduled for then, uh, Nick? Um, we're going to some friends in a few hours. Oh, lovely, lovely. It's uh, it's still kind of mid afternoon. It's the I think we're going in like about two hours or something. But... Oh yeah, yeah. And uh, and what's the weather like where you are? Uh, <laughs> the, the same as it is most of the year, you know, clear skies, light breeze, oh. 17 Celsius. Oh, okay. Yeah. It sounds okay. <laughs> Actually, it's kind of cold. It got down to 12 last night. It was really cold. That's not cold. <laughs> so in the UK, it's been unusually mild. Uh, we still have oh. spring flowers flowering. Um, normally, oh, they, they've died by now. We've dug them up and put the bolts in. Uh, but it, it, and it's a very, very colourful garden, and we're going. Well, okay, <laughs> you've earned your keep. You can, you can stay. Um, but at the weekend, you know, it's going to get much colder, and you can already feel it's starting to get cold. Uh, oh, Energizer, who of course is um, only slightly south of Father Christmas. Um, it says it's minus six where he is. <laughs> Sorry. 
Let me know when it's working again, Shady. Yeah, Mike. Okay, good, because I'm not sure I can do this flying, looking backwards, and not get lost thing. <laughs> oh, coming right, coming right, coming right. Uh, here we uh, finally had rain. Oh, Castello, you've not had much rain. Oh, we could have sent you some. We've had far too much. Uh, Energizer says, and Ecud must have used the air fryer again because we've got 35 knot winds on the ground. Uh, so that is that what's causing global warming, is it? Ecud's um, air dryer? Possibly. Possibly. There's <laughs> a lot of hot air. Oh, no, 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 no. I was right. Coming left, coming left. <laughs> don't, don't follow me. Follow me. Oh, dear. Where's the check ride? This happens every time, check right, that's fun. I've looked into them air fryers recently. Yeah. Exactly. You know when like things are getting hyped up you think you're missing out? Yeah. 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 I've worked out if you've got a gas oven. Yeah. It's actually costing you more to run an air fryer. No, it's not. <laughs> I bet it is. I bet it is. <laughs> Arthur's on a postcard. I don't know where I'm going here, guys. I don't believe that. Is it really? Yeah. If you've got an electric oven, then they're, they're worth getting. But from what I've read, if you've got a gas oven, it's actually cheaper to. It's either cheaper or equivalent to using an air fryer. Interesting. I suppose. Uh, uh, well, yeah, uh, I'm sure the, they've probably worked that out to, to kind of, you know. I suspect it's probably dependent on your gas, bit, uh, gas rate, I suppose. Yeah, well, I think gas is about half the price of electric. Calling to Google. Yeah, anyway. yeah, yeah. And good evening, Tess Hello. Pilot. Who thinks um, that sprouts have probably contributed to global warming as well? <laughs> Electric is better for the planet, says Castella. Um, Yes, except in the UK at least, lots of the electric is made by burning gas. <laughs> so whilst electric is good, not not if you end up burning lots of gas to create it. Yeah, they burning gas to make electric because gas is so cheap. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, or coal, of course. Yeah. Um, yeah, no, it's it's very economical for the owners of the gas-fired power plants, but whilst it feels as if it's a good idea for us um, to use electricity, uh, <laughs> depends how you make the electricity. Oh, um, I know I got distracted and I didn't have check ride to pull me back. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Right, I'm off to bed, says Energizer. What? What? what was that? Uh, it, yeah, I forgot. I, I followed the wrong flight plan. Uh, it looked really interesting down there, but but we have to go to a different, really interesting place. How many flight plans do you have to follow? Uh, well, they, they keep moving. <laughs> I only have the one, but I, I, you know, it's not normally me that follows it. Right, I'm off to bed. Oh. Says Energizer, uh, up early uh, tomorrow. Might treat myself to a dessert tomorrow. <gasps> okay, what are you thinking of, Energizer? One last parting shot. What are you planning for your dessert? What did you spell desert wrong? <laughs> Something Christmassy. I had a mince pie tonight. Does that count? Oh, I love a good mince pie. Oh, yeah. I, I must admit, um, you know, Mrs. Solo bought a box. Um, a few weeks ago and I just didn't fancy it because it's got colder and and, and uh, the nights have drawn in and, uh, and now there's no leaves on any of the trees anymore and you're ankle deep in fallen crispy leaves and 
Yeah, okay, now I'm ready for Christmas. Uh, yeah. Ankle deep in leaves. Where are you? In a bloody forest. <laughs> <laughs> on the edge of one, do, yeah. <laughs> do, you need a, do you need a new leaf blower, Steve? Uh, well, yeah, all that does is move them. <laughs> then they blow back again. Isn't mince pie like shepherd's pie? No! No, 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 no. You've got completely the wrong idea. Um, Steve, don't buy mince pies. You make them. Oh. It used to be years ago, didn't it? Uh, yeah, you're right. I remember making them with uh, with my mum. Um, well, you'd have meat, meat and fruit. Yeah, yeah, you've got to buy the mince meat. Yeah, but I, I, I can see where you're confused, Energizer. Um, it's It's not got... It's like saying shepherd's pie has got shepherds in it. Um, it it's um, <laughs> it, it, it's it's not meat. <laughs> I've gone the wrong way again. Um, this could be a long night. Uh, it's um, it's like fruit, isn't it? It's it's, it's fruit. It's in... got raisins in it. It's got sultanas. It's got all sorts of different stuff. And it's it. quite sweet, Orange isn't it? That, that that brown mixture. It's, it's really nice, um, and then you know it's it's put in a little tiny pie and uh, uh, sprinkled in in sugar. Yeah, it's scrummy. It doesn't have shepherd's in it. Make our own, says Dougal. Oh, can you imagine that? Now, 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 yeah. yeah warning: if you do make your own shepherd's pie, what comes when it comes out the oven? Oh, they're gorgeous when they're still warm. But that stuff inside the shepherd's pie is the hottest thing known to man. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that was the uh, McDonald's apple pie. <laughs> oh, yeah, well, it's a similar idea, isn't it? It's, 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 yeah. it's like napalm. Yeah. <laughs> yes. It's like a napalm pocket, isn't it? Yes. Um, <laughs> uh, but that wouldn't be a very good marketing um, name, really. Oh, my God, it's right. It's right. Or as my wife calls it, in that napalm flat crispy flannel. <laughs> <laughs> So Iceland is one giant shepherd's pie. What? <laughs> what, did, what, did I, what did I say? <laughs> um, right. So so <laughs> your wife calls the McDonald's apple turnover. Um, napalm crispy napalm, flannel. Yeah, napalm crispy flannel. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can see that. Yeah, I can see that. Other crispy flannels are available. Oh, I, yeah, I, I, I see where Energizer is coming from now. Because uh, it's... <laughs> it's nice on the outside, but it's got this really hot stuff underneath. house down there. Don't see many of those. Well, you, you can do a similar thing at home, can't you, with one of them sandwich toast maker. Toasted sandwich oh, makers. Oh, yeah. Do they still make those? Uh, I don't know. They used to bung a load of cheese in it. and They do indeed. And, oh, and yeah. Then burn your bottom lip and chin <laughs> and, as you bit into it. Yeah, and, and the inside of your mouth. I really want one now. <laughs> I think we used to put cheese and tomato sauce in there. I think we used to have everything with tomato sauce. Maybe not mint spice. It's one of those things that sort of everyone used to eat, didn't they? Mince yeah, pies. It is not no the, the toasted cheese sandwich. Oh, Everyone yeah, sandwich. yeah, but you'd break your teeth on the edges because they were so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they were really hard, weren't they? And then it, how much bother was it to wash it up afterwards? <laughs> you, you couldn't just dunk it in the sink, could you? Because it was electric. <laughs> uh, the, po the posh ones had removable plates. Oh, that would be very sensible. We didn't have one of those. No, we didn't. 
Uh, so it sounds as if Energizer is not having a mince pie for tomorrow. What else Christmassy? He wouldn't have a Christmas put, would he? Do they have Christmas puts over there? No. Possibly a, a Yule log. Oh. Yes. A Yule log. That's like a big chocolate. Swiss roll. Swiss roll, yes. <laughs> oh, we're talking about which. Uh, is it. Right. I think. And then covered in more chocolate icing and stuff, and then sprinkled with sugar. Oh, yeah, we need to buy one of those because they go quite quickly in the shops. Yep, got to do that tomorrow. And the other thing does anybody know what a Tunis it's, it's, cake is? It's on is? the list. <laughs> it's on the list. <laughs> Tunis cake. Anybody know what that is? Um, well, I know what Tunis cake is. Tunis cake. The kids would go mad over it, and uh, uh, we have to have. We have two: one for Christmas Day, one for Boxing Day. It's awful. Oh yeah, well, oh, yeah. I mean, it's very sweet, isn't it? It's, it's lemon, isn't it? <laughs> With marzipan. No, I don't think they would have eaten marzipan. Um, I just remember really thick, sweet chocolate on the top, and a sort of. Um, yellow sponge it, thing underneath. Typical, like, marzipan uh, decoration. Oh. With a... oh, was it marzipan decorations? Was it? I don't remember the marzipan. Well, the marzipan, I'll do like a stolen. Ah, okay. Oh, marzipan is a Christmas cake, right? Proper Christmas cake. Yes. Yes, it's That's one, awesome. one layer under the icing, isn't it? Yeah, and a lot of wedding cakes. Yes. Yeah. Um, <laughs> one Christmas, Mrs. Solo tells me the story that um, she was around her grandparents, and um, uh, Grandma had made a fruit cake with icing on it, um, and had put too much something in the icing, and it made it absolutely rock solid. <laughs> They couldn't cut it, no matter what they did. They had to turn it upside down and scoop it out. <laughs> Yule log. Yeah, that's a nice idea. Uh, so Energizer um, usually buy either almond cake or sticky chocolate cake or Christmas toffee. They all sound awesome op uh, options. Oh, I tried a very strange thing from Marks and Spencers um, last year. I won't be trying it again. I've got a feeling it's Italian. Uh, um, Stolen. Is was that when it was? No, that's, it, it was that's in German. Stolen. That's Stolen's nice. Oh, are you talking about? Um, it was in a. It was. It was. A, it was a long time. Panettone. Day, and it was in yeah. a big. Pan yeah, that, yes, it was something to do with bicycle racing. Yeah. Um, that's a peloton. Steve. Peloton. That, that's a peloton. That's something quite different. Oh, that's not, and, not what I had. And it was uh, like a colour chart. Pel yeah. <laughs> um, so, Acord, what did you say it was called? Pelotoni. That's it. So that's different to the bicycles. Okay. Yes. Um, so I had that because there was, you know, there was a whole wall of these things stacked up in, in very posh-looking triangular boxes, pyramid boxes. I didn't like it very much. <laughs> the what, Celestial? <laughs> Oh, the big soft cake in a box. <laughs> yes. He actually wrote the bog soft cake. Yeah. Okay. Yes, it was a yes, it was a big soft cake, yeah. I think I tried some stolen ones. It's a bit it's a bit dense, isn't it? Yeah, you don't need a lot of it. No. Just just a thin piece. It's got marzipan all through the middle. Oh. So it's a bit like a, 
a sweet version of the what, what's that pie that has the egg all the way through the middle? It's oh, like I know what you mean. Yeah. I know what you mean. Gala pie. Um. It's like no. a massive pork pie with. A, I don't yeah, know where pork they got the long egg. Yeah. I I I. I thought I knew what it was called, but. Yeah, I thought what, it was gala pie. It wasn't what you said. Everyone else has gone quiet, so I'm obviously <laughs> maybe less out of drink. I'm <laughs> trying to, I'm trying to think what it was, uh, what that is. I don't know, I'm afraid. With egg in it. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah, like a hard, hard boiled egg through the middle of the yeah. pie. In the pie or yeah. gala pie. Okay, so yeah. ima imagine. That's what I said. Imagine. Yeah. Oh, it's got. Oh, you think it's gala pie, do you? Okay. Garlic pie. That sounds terrible. No gala. <laughs> gala, <laughs> as in swimming. Okay, guys. I think we're just coming up now <laughs> to. I think this is is one of the. Uh, uh, one of the volcanoes that's uh, causing problems. In, uh, in Iceland. We're right on the southwest tip now. But it seems it's this whole row of ridges because it's strange that the, you know, the, these are, are, are tiny by compared with the, the massive mountains we've been flying through, but these seem to be well, like causing the trouble. Uh, but there seems to be a line of these that go out and into the sea, and I understand there's some, uh, some of the ones that are under the sea. Uh, causing trouble as well, which is why I think they're worried. I might be wrong about the precise location of that, because um, have you ever tried to read a map of Iceland? It is a nightmare. Even Google gets confused, you know, it's just <laughs> it's really difficult. It must be scary to live in an area that's got that sort of thing going on, though. What, where you can't pronounce any of the road names? Yeah. <laughs> no, when you <laughs> volcanoes. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but I suppose, you know, you're possibly very scared on day one, and then when nothing happens on the second day, you're not quite yeah. so scared, and then uh, after a few years, it's, it's your home. That's, that's an end to it. I mean, in the UK, like, everyone starts to panic if you get a burst wall, mate. <laughs> yeah, well, Christmas panics the UK. Oh, and, and, and why have the trains stopped this time? Oh, well, it's the wrong type of leaves. Or well, the wrong type of rain. Yeah. Lots of things can stop the UK. someone following you Steve <laughs> there's, there's lots following me which is always nice to see uh, well it is if it would be if I knew where I was going how you doing well okay you're, you're uh, in there you're in the right region. Goblin Zoo says this Texan 2 is quite fun to fly. Ooh, somebody tell me about the Texan 2. Is that, is, that, is that a new plane? That's the one that the RAF trainer. Oh, what, the new trainer? Yes. Uh, that, that replaces the... Tucano. Tucano. Um, I didn't know there was one available for... Yeah, it's been out for a while now. Oh, right. Uh, who makes it, Goblin Zeus? 
Um, and Energizer says, Steve, have you ever heard of the famous church uh, Hal Grim Skirkia? Ah. It's fucking like a native. Located in. Oh, God. Um, Skola for the who halt. Designed by. <laughs> I energize, I hate you. Uh, good, good John. That has similar organ pipes as Svarty Foss. <laughs> Thank you, Energizer. Appreciate it. <laughs> Knows the answer. <laughs> Close enough. That was an interesting little hole we've just flown over. It's a bit volcanic. Get a few starters here. Well, just the energizer at home saying, Here, yeah, listen to this. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Nobody clipped that. Nick's enjoying himself. Yeah. I have to say, it, 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 it's a it's a very manoeuvrable plane. It's it, it's it's lovely to. Uh... Whoops! Too much! Too much! <laughs> Sorry, Nick. We weren't watching. <laughs> we were. Yeah, Energizer says, "To be fair, not even I can even begin to pronounce Icelandic. <laughs> it's uh, just as weird as Finnish." And I'm half finished. Oh, right. <laughs> you know, the interesting thing about Iceland is it's uh, very expensive. Really? Yeah, like a taxi from the airport to town will cost you about 120 pounds. It's extortionate. No! Yeah, big yeah. time. I suppose they don't get much trade, so they need to make a lot of money yeah. on each... Oh, they get they get a lot of trade. Well, obviously less now than they did have. But yeah, okay. Wow. Oh, oh no, no, don't follow me. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. It's often overcast in Iceland. Oh, really? Yeah, almost all the time, actually. <laughs> um, interestingly, right? Like, I guess it must be because of where it is, but... Uh, yeah, I, I mean, it's got a lot of coast, doesn't it? And a lot of hills. Um, both those things. Um, yeah. You're going to get clouds anywhere there's sea and land next to each other. Um... And it's going to turn into rain every time it goes over a hill. Exactly. <laughs> so then you end up with lakes, and you might even get clo clouds where there are lakes. Oh, it's the Blue Lagoon. Oh, is this Reykjavik? Uh, it's south of Reykjavik. So this this here is is quite a popular. Um, I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tourist place uh, closed right now and uh, just beyond it you, you can see that that big lump and i understand that's that's causing quite a lot of problems um uh, what well, is, the, is the lump you fly into the air steve or <laughs> well it's a little bit like a mince pie um so this this lump here is uh 
I understand. Uh, got lots of lava, and I think the lava's. You see this settlement down here, though, which I should try and pronounce when we get a bit closer to it. Oh, Grind Grindarvik. Um, I think this place has had to be evacuated um, very suddenly, I think, the other week. Um, I think because the lava flows. You can see it's quite close, isn't it? Uh, but that, um, that, that, that place, that um, Blue Lagoon, looks really pleasant in the, in the Google photographs. Uh-oh. Here back, Shady. Got you. Uh, not quite. Okay. Uh, Steve, the green uh, cockpit. It's a little bit flat. It doesn't feel alive like the other Spitfire. Uh, yeah. Yeah, we it's not. We it's not. Have to be an yeah, no, I think I think I know what you mean. Um, and, and, it's you not know. deal breaker. It's not deal breaker, but it's not. It's not as good as some other textures. Uh, yeah. Uh, you, you know, there are. There are other Spitfires, which, in my opinion, you know, have some very good aspects, but it seems to be at the expense of something important to me, like its flight model or the audio or something, in a way that I find disruptive. Um, whereas here, it's it, it's uh, the flight model is, is is lovely, but everything else doesn't really distract me. And I just enjoy flying it. Um, it does more or less what I expect it to but you're right you know it's no dc6 is it um yeah so, so you can see here I this think, I, think, I personally think the detail is great it's just the textures are a little bit they haven't quite got the finish on the textures to, yeah. to reflect light in a natural way like some other aircraft managed to do yeah and you know whether that would improve i i, I don't know what's on their list um uh, but for me, if the textures are fantastic, but other aspects of it are bad, then I, I end up not flying it. But, you know, it depends on what, what, what you want. Yeah, so I'm just circling around a lighthouse here, and you can see um, out... But the reason this is here is because there, there are rocks this is on the... And, and I believe these are like volcanic mountains that go into the water, and there's been some uh, underwater volcanic activity recently. So uh, I think they're quite worried about it all. All volcanic activity starts underwater at some point. Is that right? <laughs> well, it's a sort of philosophical point, but yeah, actually, yeah. Oh, I see. yeah, it's okay. <laughs> but you mean below sea level? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, no, actually, not really. Uh, I mean, yes, I guess some, uh, some continents are pushed up by... Um, I don't know, I'm not very good at geography, but some continents, I guess, are pushed up by tectonic movements, but ultimately the whole of the Earth's crust is basically volcano, right? So. Yeah, true. Yeah. Um, yeah, because the middle bit is where all the lava comes, comes from. Um, this round here is, um, I think they call it a geothermal yep. pa power station. That's correct. Um, and I think this is um, either beam closed or they might think. They have to close it soon. Um, yeah, and and up, up just up the coast here, there's a, there's a fascinating thing called um, is it the bridge between continents? Uh, and it sounds such a grand title, doesn't it? But for what I can gather, it's a ferry. I think I think I don't know. <laughs> it's not. It's nowhere near two continents. It, uh, it's, it's just a. I think it's a bridge across a ravine. <laughs> I've, I've managed to find it. Um, it. Sounds very posh, doesn't it? I, 
I suspect they invented it for the um, for the tourists. Yeah, I think I think if you look here, there's like a ravine running down here. And I think somewhere, somewhere there's some kind of bridge. It's in this neck of the woods. I don't know why I'm getting, getting quite bad stutters here. Ah, nice formation flying. Somebody. Oh, it's Nick. Hang on. There's there's Nick Cab. There's a picture of me. <laughs> oh, are you on live weather? Uh, no, I'm on Nick weather. I, I like some. I like emotion and you know in in my scenery and, and rain. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's, yeah. You can you can tell the Scotsman. You can't see the scenery because it's raining. <laughs> no, I mean, <laughs> no, it's just yeah. nice. Yeah. Okay. For me, like the scenery is not perfect. It's still kind of got you know. Yeah, agree. Low red roof and etc. So this kind of makes it more realistic because it's. Yeah. It's, uh, yeah. 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 I know it's not the best for. Yeah, some you know rainbow and stuff. It's pretty enough. Oh yeah. I think we're here. No, we're not. That's the wrong one. But we can do a touch and go. Oh, is this oh, the main airport? No, it's the one before the, the final airport. Is it because really? it reminds you of home, Nick? Because <laughs> it's, yeah, exactly, it's, yeah. it's, it's raining uh, and cloudy. Isn't <laughs> this the final airport? I think it is, no? No. Is it? No. Yeah, it is. It is. This is the main international airport, but it's not Reykjavik. I uh, might be wrong. Okay, maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. Yeah, no, you're right. This is the... Wait, I'm so confused. Where are we? Yeah, it's the, it's the penultimate. We yeah, are B-I-K-F. B -I -K -F. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, this is the main airport. This is... Well, okay. Uh, whether or not... I haven't seen the flight plan, so ignore anything about the flight <laughs> plan. But if, <laughs> Don't if, fly, if Nick. You fly to, if you fly to, uh, to Iceland, this is where you come in. That's come where to. you come into. Okay, yeah. interesting. Um, yeah, there's one right in the middle of Reykjavik, I think. Yeah, that's where the local helicopters and stuff go from. Oh, okay. Oh, well, for the for the for the trips. Yeah. yeah it does look quite a major airport. It is, isn't it? <clears throat> yeah, it is. Castella, I'm going to head off to bed now. Good night, everyone. Good night, Castella. Sleep well. Yeah, so the taxi journey that we're flying now, this is 120 pounds. <gasps> wow. It's cheaper to fly in a Spitfire. <laughs> Uh, Castella said it was absolutely fantastic flying with you all as always. Thank you, Castella. It's a pleasure having you along. Have a great landing and a great night, everyone. Thank you. <laughs> Dr. No Thumbs in the Spitfire Blushy. <laughs> There he goes, like a rocket. It's so fast. Yeah. <clears throat> Super fast. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. What are you doing, Steve? Uh, well, my, no, no, my RPM is zero. Okay. 
Uh oh. Oh no no. It's bad. It's bad. Um. Oh. Something went wrong. I think I ran out of petrol. Let's go look at somebody else. I've had this before, when you run out of petrol, um, you have to prime it a couple of times. There we go. Thank you, Dr. Notham, for providing a suitable distraction. <laughs> Nothing to see, I'm back in the air, it's fine. I'm lost though, where am I going? Oh yeah, no, I'm going the wrong direction. Enjoying that, Nick, aren't you? Uh, yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> it flies well, doesn't it? I like it. It does. It's a nice aircraft, for sure, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we, we thought of slightly flat textures, gave it a feel of like a restored. Yeah. Oh, oh, you you thought that's good? Uh, well, mm. it's it's well, how it reminds me of Spitfire cockpits that I've sat in. Hmm. It's 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 just a, it doesn't thing or just an excuse. Yeah. It's not so much whether it's realistic to the time or not. It's more just that the, the uh, textures just don't look like they reflect light in any way that a real texture would in real life. That's all. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, They're a little bit soft and matte. Yeah. So we're coming into Reykjavik now. Can it be done? I don't think so. No, I'm not going to try it. Uh, I am getting regular stutters. Um, it's almost as if there's... Uh, you know what you get when there's uh, an operating system update waiting? Oh, interesting. Yeah. yeah. I'll be interested to see if it is, if it is that. Because oh, it's Wednesday, isn't it? We'll need to belly land with gear up. What again? Uh, have a great one, you all. Well, oh, thank you very much. Catch you soon. What's this interesting one? What is building? that? What is that? Yeah, is that the one with is 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 that the one with the silos built into the? Yeah, it is. Yeah, that was weird. That was super weird. Energizer said. <laughs> did, did Steve just say it's Wednesday? Um, no. 
<laughs> oh dear. Um, oh, he's so picky, isn't he? I think it is an official POI, this building. I thought you meant Wednesday. You think that's how it actually looks in real life? It looks really yeah. weird. Wow, maybe it is. Actually, yeah, this is um, it's a photogrammetry place, isn't it? Um, isn't really? It? Uh, it, it isn't. It, it isn't in my head. It's the one that is a vibe. I thought it was. Stand by. Yeah, yeah, it's photogrammetry. Uh, says little nav map. So let's see if we can find some evidence of that. Uh, that's a POI that we're looking at on screen. Yeah, for sure. Uh, yeah, maybe it is in the world update. I don't have or something. Uh, well, yeah, there are two, um, Nordic one and Nordic yeah. two. Erland, wonders of Iceland. Oh wow, that puts it in perspective. Jeez. Oh, that's a big place then. Oh. Uh. <laughs> Nothing inside. It's empty. Uh, don't waste your money. <laughs> Interesting city there. This is the capital, isn't it, Reykjavik? Yeah. It's a bit dicey to have a capital that close to those volcanoes, isn't it? Churches are well done. There's a few of them as well, isn't there? Yeah! Oh. Okay. On count four from here. Fulmar says, uh, great flight tonight, guys. Um, good night. Thank you, Fulmar, and uh, hope to see you soon. Good night. You're going to make this hard work for me and come in at different. <laughs> Can everyone land from the same direction? No. <laughs> Sorry, I'm blocking the runway system, let's do It's quite nice the way that there's a lag with the supercharger, it's quite, quite like it. Oh, there's a 109 on its nose by the look of it. Ah, oh, that might have been the belly landing, I suppose. Nice oh. landing, thank you. <laughs> thank you.
Oh, I forgot when I left, my plane disappears. Oh, sorry about that. I left. Sorry, Nick's egg. I'm, I'm still here in spirit. I, I, I accidentally, well, I left um, and then realized my plane will disappear, which is kind of stupid. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was like, let me just watch myself on stream, like, parked up with everyone else. I'm like, no, that's not possible when you've quit the sim. <laughs> <laughs> You're out of practice. <laughs> yeah, oh, this is cute. Okay. I've got there's a, a grown-up Spitfire and a little plushy Spitfire. Nice. <laughs> uh, Celestial Navigator. Uh, well, that was a great flight. Thanks, chap. You're very welcome. Hope to see you again soon. Um, it's been absolutely brilliant, guys. I've really enjoyed it. Um, I don't know what we're doing Sunday, but sometime next week, I'm sure we'll be doing something in jets because um, we'll want to fly along uh, with some Vulcans and uh, and see how that goes. Um, and uh, whenever the F-14 comes out, uh, yeah, we'll be back in jets again. We do have a Southern England thing to do to try and find out. Well, when I say Southern England, I mean south of Sheffield. Um, uh, just to uh, check out some of those uh, POIs that are in the they're really, really well-priced £10 for 700 POIs from Orbix. Okay, right. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you to Shady. Lovely to see um, Acord and Fly with Nick um, uh, back with us. Um, and um, that's it. Right. I'll catch you all soon. Fun. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah, so, good night from me, Steve Solo, and good night from everybody in voice. Good night. Hi, everyone. <laughs> oh, that's really exciting. <laughs> <laughs> I must get a recording of you all sounding keen to say good night. Okay, good night. <laughs>
It was amazing. You know, don't ask me to recreate it. <laughs> I could probably do it again. Imagine we'd get back in the air, you know? So, um, the Spitfire's gone from here, so where'd he go? Where's the flyer? Now if, now, if Krabby could stay steady, I might even catch up on the right. You, know, you guys say hello to Steve and the boys. That's the way I say it, you guys, the whole list. And maybe somebody can list the shadows.